shake your booties for black girl nerds. Good afternoon, ladies. It's such a pleasure to be with both of you. I enjoyed the two of you just tremendously. I, just from beginning to end, you were such a formidable duo. Sarah, beginning with you, it's very refreshing to continue to see you in these strong female characters, completely developed characters. What, what is it about that these types of projects that are starting to shift that dynamic in Hollywood that, you know, men have to lead projects? We're seeing so many more strong women-led projects now. I don't know fully what, what is responsible for that change, and I think it's certainly happening. I don't know that it's uh, leaps and bounds uh, above what it was. I think post the Me Too movement in 2016, was it, I think, 2016? Is that right? Yeah, um, I think there's definitely been um, more than anything, perhaps an awareness, uh, more acute, acutely held the dearth of, of opportunity for women once they're, I don't know, over 25, <laughs> you know? And so, um, and Ryan does tend to be very interested in the stories of women and then incidentally women who are over 40. So. Therefore, a lot of people are, are having opportunities to do some rich, complicated things that, you know, traditionally aren't, aren't around that many, that much. Right, definitely. Judy, your, your character, Nurse Bucket, was just almost like a, the perfect spoil to <laughs> Nurse Ratchet's energy. What, what, may, what is it about her that you liked that, that initially drew you to the character and as you got into the mix with Sarah's character, Nurse, Nurse Ratchet, how did you guys come together to make some of those fabulous scenes? Well, uh, Bucket, what, what sort of amused me about Bucket and, 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 and also touched me about her was her fantasies that she has, you know, on, on one level you think, well, it's ridiculous, but it's a small enclosed world that she lives in. And so you, her imagination would start, started to go a little bit off skew. Um, and so that created a, an enormous developing problem for her fantasy versus harsh reality. So that's great stuff for an actor to play with. Um, I, haven't, I haven't seen the show. And, and Ratchet was there as a sort of a, a, a safety net. So when Bucket falls, Ratchet's there to catch him, which is kind of beautiful, really. Mm -hmm. mm. Along with the, the beauty of these developed characters, when we know there's a Ryan Murphy production coming forward, it's gonna be extravagant, beautiful detail, the costuming, the, the backgrounds, everything. When you look at this project, Sarah, what were some of your favorite wardrobe items from the show? Because <laughs> you were on point <laughs> from the first <laughs> time we saw you, even till where we end up at the end of the journey, but the looks were just, well, that's all Lou. I mean, Lou is a longtime collaborator of Ryan and Ryan's, and and with good reason. She's she interprets his vision, I think, very um, beautifully, and she kind of speaks Ryan Murphy, which, believe me, is a language unto itself. So, uh, um, my favorite thing was probably the the very first time. <clears throat> it's been a very long time since I've seen it, but I think the first time you see me is in the car. Is that right? I can't remember. Yeah. Um, and I think I, re Lou and I decided to repeat that outfit at the end when I'm making the decision to, um, with Bucket's help to end Edmund's life. Uh, and I wear the same thing that I wore when you first saw me, which was that sort of hat that looked like the inside of a shell. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was multi, you know, same tone. I loved that. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you ladies so much. I enjoyed this tremendously. Sure. Have a wonderful day. And I hope I talk to you again in the future. Yeah, stay well. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.